Well, we got some more guys for you. Hello and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution weekly news update, where today we've got plenty of news. Unfortunately, and surprisingly, not as much as I was expecting. Because while we did get a live stream from the developers, as well as a dev diary number two, there wasn't too much to be shown apart from what we've already discussed in the dev diary. However, we will be discussing everything that has been shared this week, and also some things that I may have missed in the dev diary itself. And also, while there wasn't too much in the live stream, we're gonna actually discuss that first because there was only like two things that were of real importance that we hadn't gotten any information on. And the first was the Trank Darts, and how they will actually no longer be permanent like in the first game where once you shot it, it would be asleep forever until you transported it. No, now in the game, dinosaurs that are tranquilized, the the Trank effects will eventually um, expire and they can wake up. Which was one thing I always wondered why wasn't a thing in the game, because like if say you tranquilize something that you didn't mean to, you then had to um, wake it up by transporting, which costs money, so why not just let it wake up? Which now you will be able to, and that's going to be a really good thing because say if you shoot the wrong dinosaur while trying to manually do it, well you don't have to worry, you can just leave them be, they'll wake up in a little bit, probably a little annoyed, probably a little hungry, but afterwards they should be fine, and if not, then well, then you'll have to deal with them. And not only that, another thing about like tranquilizers, is um, you will now be able to um, have it lock on automatically while you're flying the helicopter. So in the first game, you normally would either just send a task for them to do it on their own, or you could do it manually. Now you have a new option, where you can take control of the helicopter, and then if you angle the helicopter right, it will automatically shoot as long as it says it locks. Which is a really nice feature, so if you want to feel like you're still doing something, but you don't want to go through the struggles of, you know, trying to shoot her, well, there you go. And other than that, the livestream didn't show us anything else, except for a new adorable animation of a Karna like scratching its chin on the ground. Which, we first got the aloe using his hands, but we see how Karna's gonna improvise since his little nubs aren't gonna be able to reach there, unfortunately. So he uses the ground in an adorable little puppy dog way. It's ador- it's cute, it's adorable, and goddammit I can't wait to get this game, cause I wonder how else we'll get to see. Will we get to see Velociraptors like rubbing their snouts after meals? Or maybe how- I wonder how T-Rex is gonna actually do it. Is it gonna rub its face to the ground, or is it gonna u use its feet like sort of a dog would? But that's it for the live stream, which, yeah, I know, not really that much, because unfortunately all they did was play the um, little part of the campaign that we've seen from like the Gaming Beaver, Best and Slot, and other YouTubers. So we didn't get to see, see too much, but now on to things of big interest for the um, Dev Diary that we got. Well, the second one that just came out. So first we're going to talk about the main things that they discussed, which was campaign and chaos theory, and then a little bit of things that they showed us, including new dinosaurs, and some um, returning ones, and some things that we kind of expected but weren't confirmed yet. So specifically, let's start with the campaign. So, the description goes as follows. The player's role in campaign mode is very different from other modes. Instead of focusing on building a theme park and using dinos to make money, they're now d dealing with dinosaurs in the wild, which will involve s safely capturing and containing them in facilities that the player builds. And while that's interesting, one thing that I gotta point out is during the campaign playthroughs that we've seen, you notice that there is no star rating at the bottom, like in challenge mode playthroughs, because I noticed that when the Game Beaver was playing it a while ago, and I thought it was a glitch, but no, this is exactly why, because this is sort of going to be what we've always wanted, because like, if we remember when Claire's Sanctuary came out and we had the whole expectation expectations of, oh, we're not going to build another park, now we're saving dinosaurs and trying to help them live in the biological preserve on Sanctuary, but then it turned into a park builder and, you know, everybody got annoyed. But it looks like we're finally getting that except for this game as the main campaign, which, gotta say, I'm really excited for it, and I'm glad that it's looking like they're not going to cut corners and go, ha, ah, psych, we're going to build a park. 
Because if they were to do that, I think a lot of people would be disappointed. Because we already have the other three modes. Which, I say three, because of Chaos Theory, which is the next thing, the player will experience what-if scenarios from each of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. And they don't give any other explanation for it, except we know what the what-if scenarios will be, basically. For example, for The Lost World, we will be recreating San Diego Zoo from The Lost World that is in San Diego that was abandoned by John Hammond. And while in the movie it was unsuccessful due to, you know, the bull T-Rex rampaging, now we have to make San Diego Jurassic Park a success. And also, one thing that we get to see with this is um, returning um, buildings from Jurassic Park and well, Jurassic World Evolution 1, including all the Return to Jurassic Park buildings, that includes the t Ford Explorers, well it wasn't actually Fords, well, the Ford Explorers, we get the helicopter arrival, we get the Ranger team, and of course we get new things like the, um, San Diego Dome, and also, one thing that was interesting that a lot of people caught on, and I did as well, but I forgot to mention this in my, um, breakdown of the Dev Diary, was that if you look at um, certain spots where the um, Jurassic Park tour goes in the wide shot that shows all of San Diego Park, you actually notice that in certain spots, the path for the tour ride goes over the main path. And this has confirmed what has been rumored for a long time, which I'm pretty sure was confirmed a while, but now tour rides will be able to go over the path. And you'll be able to notice that there's a wide spot of path where it is showing that it's crossing, which is really good. So finally, you won't have to maneuver your vehicles all around stuff. That way you can still have the facilities that you need. And it's going to work out much better than it did in, like, the original game. And it's going to be really good, because now, finally, you won't have to, like, sprawl out your tour ride in every direction just to get into like two enclosures now you can just have it in a simple circle and you're there's no worries really which gotta say is a huge improvement that i was looking forward to and also speaking of um the jurassic park eras for um this one thing people notice is in one of the shots of the dev diary we see the two t-rexes in the amphitheater of san diego and some people are believing that that is supposed to be the bull and female rex which has led many people to believe that we are getting the jurassic park skins back as well now this was kind of soft confirmed a while back with an image of two velociraptors with a brown one in the main focus and in the back one that looked very similar to the tiger raptors so we, it looks like we are getting those movie skins back as well, though that is not 100% confirmed. It could be due to your modification abilities, but we will talk about that in a future video. Now, another thing that they go into is Jurassic World, which the big thing for the Dev Diary, of course, was the reveal of Indominus Rex. We already knew it was confirmed. I've done a video on that already, as well as Indoraptor, but we finally get to see Indominus Rex. We haven't seen Indoraptor yet, but I do have a theory about the rest of Chaos Theory, which I'll go into in a second. And not only that, um, other things we get to see is only two p new creatures. One wasn't shown, but actually was technically confirmed by the developers. The one that was shown was a new aquatic creature, which currently is not confirmed to be what it is, but most people are believing it to be Tylosaurus. I'm not going to say it's Tylosaurus, I'm just saying it's one of the most likely options from people's guesses. I would love to see Tylosaurus, as it's a huge um, character in the Jurassic Park franchise with r the Jurassic Park game. I love it, but it may not be that, just want to point that out. And also, one thing that was really interesting is during the live stream, some people noticed how much they were referencing during their explanation of um, the... Um, was chaos theory sorry losing my voice the chaos theory portion they mentioned a lot about like the fallen kingdom portion like cynoceratops which i think is their way of like sort of trying to confirm that it is without like saying it is 
But, like, let's be real, we know Sinoceratops is coming back because it's a movie dinosaur, and the fact that you are having Chaos Theory to begin with, where you go into iconic moments in the movies, and you're changing them, you have to have the dinosaurs in those movies, which basically confirms that we're having every single dinosaur still in the game, which works for me, because, well, it should be that way. Now, on to, um, one thing that was really interesting, and that was the massive map size of Jurassic World, which this was obviously on Isla Nublar. However, in the wide shot that shows all of the Jurassic World, or at least their version of it, there's a little bit of errors. I'm not going to go into that because, well, don't want to be a down or anything. But you notice how big the um, aquatic area and also the aviary is, which, if you recall, in like um, I remember when I built, um, my recreation of Jurassic World in Nublar 1993, and it was, like, impossible to get everything in there. Like, you had to struggle with, um, getting the aviary in, and it wasn't a single dome. And then adding your aquatic area, even though you couldn't put anything in it, but still, you had Jurassic World. And then you look at this map, and you're like, Jiminy Christmas, look at the size of that map. And you know, they were not lying. These maps are going to be huge. Not all of them are, of course. We've seen some that are a bit smaller. One of the Canada ones, I'm pretty sure it was, that showed, like, a smaller map. Unfortunate. Damn. But, other than that, there wasn't too many other things. We did get... To I do have a lot of comments saying that I forgot to mention the compies, but it was because they were already confirmed a while back ago, and also when Game Beaver and other people played, Compi was confirmed already there. So I didn't think I needed to mention that, but just for all you Compi fans who love them hopping around as I do, Compi is back, and also we get to see Pachycephalosaurus again, in case anyone's gonna bite at me for that as well. And also, now on to my theory for Chaos Theory. Nah, eh, the, the play on words, terrible. But, so we only have gotten confirmation on what the Lost World and also Jurassic World will be. Now, Jurassic Park we know is going to be basically Return to Jurassic Park, but moved over for Evolution 2. And we know for that because one thing they mentioned was that B.D. Wong is coming back to play voice Dr. Wu, of course, because you couldn't have anyone else do it. And... They said that he gets to play a younger version of him, which we we know is now for the Jurassic Park level, which is going to be awesome. So, like, how is it going to be? Are we going to see him work with, like, the other main characters, like Ian, Alan, and Ellie? Maybe, because he wasn't there when in the regular Return to Jurassic Park um, campaign, which was a little bit strange. He was mentioned, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong on that, but it was strange he didn't come back. For that. I don't know. It's a little weird. But now on to Jurassic Park 3 and Fallen Kingdom. These are the complicated ones. Now, in their descriptions, like of previous times of Chaos Theory, they've mentioned that it'll be both park builds and facilities, which for J JP3, this may have the answer because I have the feeling that for JP3, we could be returning to Isla Sorna and making, well, rebuilding the engine facilities there. These include the Worker Village from the Lost World and the Amalgam facility that was responsible for helping the production of the Spinosaurus, the Ceratosaurus, Corythosaurus, and Ankylosaurus during the aftermath of the Lost World. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, it was. So. I'm thinking it could be that, because there's no other thing they could do for Jurassic Park 3 that I'm aware of. Because, like, they've already confirmed it. there's one for each of the films. Now, for Dominion, there's not going to be anything in the main game because Dominion hasn't come out yet. When it does, we probably will get it with a Dominion DLC. How that'll work, I'm not sure yet. Now, for Fallen Kingdom, it's actually pretty simple. I have a feeling that since, well... From what they're showing us for Chaos Theory, I have a feeling they're using it to bring all the things that they had for Evolution 1 into this game. And specifically, I think Sanctuary Island will be returning, because one of the biggest um, plot points for Fallen Kingdom was Claire's 
goal to get the dinosaurs from Isla Nublar before it erupted all the way to Sanctuary, an island that she was told would be able to keep them safe. Now, we don't know if the island is 100% real. It could have been a ploy by J Eli Mills, which it most likely is. I may go to a video for that in the future. But if it is real, then this could be the what if scenario for Fallen Kingdom is what if Claire got her way? Because they're doing the Return to Jurassic Park for the Jurassic Park level, so it only makes sense that for Fallen Kingdom, they do Claire Sanctuary, except, you know, Evolution 2 version. That's just me, I'm not sure, but it is looking like that. Now, I know some people will be a little bit disappointed with this, but I, I don't know, guys. I'm still excited for Chaos Theory, because, like, we're gonna be able to get all these new buildings, as well as old ones, and, uh, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. I, I really think that they could have done more with camp, with the Chaos Theory, like, campaign, it's 100% better than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be, like, you know, you have to build a park to protect these dinosaurs, as, like, an excuse from Cabot to make money, which I don't think would have worked. It definitely shouldn't have been. And they're not doing that, so it works for me. Now, for the other things, they've already confirmed they're park builder related, so this is what we've got. And I would say I'm still really excited for this, guys. I'm more excited, actually, than I w thought I would be. I was actually worried about what Chaos Theory would be and how it would work, but now that we know what it basically is, I think it's going to be a success. Anyway, guys, that is all the news that we've gotten. Only other things that, like, I forgot to mention was compies, which, good for bit, I forgot to mention the little hoppers. Also, we got a little bit of information from the live stream. Who knows what else we'll be getting in the future. Next week will be a species field guide for sure, which maybe that spe species field guide will be this mysterious aquatic creature that we still don't know what is. Maybe it'll be revealed as the Tylosaurus and everybody will be like, haha, we knew it. Or. You know, maybe it'll be something else and everybody will be like, Really? It's that? Hmm. Call me shocked. But anyway, guys, what do you think about this? Hope you enjo enjoyed. And if there was anything else I missed, do let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until the next weekly news update, as well as any other videos we do, be safe. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>